What's going on? What's going on, fam? This is Chris with Food for Your Thoughts. I hope you're having a wonderful, tremendous day and really enjoying yourself, learning more about your purpose, your mission, your life path, your natal chart, really leaving no stone on turning your life and really just just going through this process, growing through this process along your hero's journey through self-discovery, knowledge of self, self-realization, right? Because there's always the know, that's always more to know about yourself, okay? But today we continue our Nature Guide series and, and these are nothing more than our universal messengers and they are also our greatest teacher in disguise too. And one thing I do want to mention from the time that you were born, each and every one of us, right? No matter what vibration you, you are in, we all have guardian angels. We have a spiritual team that's been assigned to help us grow through this process along our hero's journey. But many of us are not open to receive these messages and we're not taught this stuff in school either. Okay, so. I'm sharing my experience with you because I know it will help you along your path as well. But today, you know, and your spiritual team, one thing I do want to mention before we get started, they are constantly sending you messages. I mean, all day, every day, okay, from the time you open your eyes to <laughs> before you go to bed, right? And, and it's all about keeping you in greater alignment so you can keep growing, okay? All right, but today is all about the sparrow, common nature guide symbolism. And if you've been seeing a lot of sparrows just following you, or just recently, or just you know throughout your life, and you really want to you know get some working knowledge of what they mean when they pop up in your life, because they will, especially when you know better, you're gonna do better, and you have that conscious awareness when they pop up in your life. You know everything has a meaning and a purpose. So these are not accident or coincidence. You know, and it is synchronistic, right? However, every synchronicity has a meaning. So investigate your life, okay? Trust your intuition. But our purpose and mission require to learn a lot of life lessons and to gain experience and knowledge for our soul's growth. Along your journey, share your knowledge and wisdom with people because there are people just like you really need this information because they have no idea what's going on other than working, going to school, right? Trying to figure out a way to pay bills. And you have this whole big ecosystem, you know, going on around you and you just don't have time to to really take time to be open to receive the messages, you know, from the universe and from your spiritual team. OK, but share your knowledge and wisdom with people along your you know, journey and trust your intuition and to re remember to have that greater alignment, you know, learn, you know, use your your life path numbers and stuff like that. However. Your thoughts, belief, words, emotions, and actions are always going to equal your reality and your results. So to have a greater alignment, remember your thoughts, belief, emo words, emotions, and actions, these are your building blocks, you know, to everything. So as a man or a woman is thinking, you know, so shall he or she be, right? So you speaking your, your reality into existence and you taking radical action, right? And you refining and repeating the process. So let's talk about the sparrow. So along your journey, you, you know, you're going to see so many different, you know, different animals and nature guides. But today is all about the sparrow. And I want to share, you know, my experiences with you and give you some working knowledge. That way, you know, you can further enlighten yourself and also you're going to do some investigation too because this meaning for me may not be exactly the same meaning for you but it's going to scratch the surface level and when they pop up in your life you you at least know like hey i remember this you know okay so let's talk about the sparrow in my honest opinion so when it comes to the sparrow guys you know especially when it comes to birds <clears throat> these are these are your extra set of eyes in the sky okay they love when you're open to receive the messages from the universe and your guardian angel because they love to you know use birds to point out things in the sky for you or they may take shape into a certain formation just so you you, you can really remember like oh my god that was just for me okay and a lot of times these sign these formation right they they are symbols and you may have to research a little bit, but please be aware and when they pop up in your life, okay? But in my experience, the sparrow on the surface level, it's all about overcoming, you know, self-limiting belief because big things come in small packages. So don't judge a book by its cover. And, and also, you may be uh, dealing with a certain situation in life and it may, may, may seem overwhelming, right? But when you look at things from the from a bigger perspective or, or the bigger when you look at the bigger picture, everything is necessary. And sometimes, you know, there can be painful experiences, 
but once once you learn the lesson because there's a lesson in every situation it's going to make you stronger wiser and you're going to do better too and that's what despair is all about because they go through a lot of lessons they don't mind cooperating right and so when it comes to sparrow as well they also you know reminding you to remain vigilant i mean yeah vigil vigilant and it's also about friendliness creativity community and being productive in life okay not just sitting around waiting for things to happen because what you need to be the cause in your life instead of waiting for the effect to happen because the people that wait for the effect to happen they wait on look and they have no idea what caused that effect to come into their lives so to take control of your life you know, you should be intentional with like being the cause, you know, being the cause, you know, plant those seeds, plant a whole bunch of causes in your life so you can get those effects in your life to happen, really happen. And learn these seven hermetic principles, they're going to take you far, okay? But, and also, the sparrows remind you all about teamwork and focus too, you know, because they know like, hey, it's a lot of us here, you know, we can do a lot if we just team up together. And that's what they're all about. It's all about teamwork and focus and, and relaxing when the work is done, okay? So as we get out of here, guys, let's talk a little bit more about the sparrow and then we'll go ahead and sum things up. So when a sparrow, you know, animal spirit flirts into your life, it is basically imploring us to recognize our own self-worth. Although, you know, they're very tiny, right? This creature can act as a massive source of empowerment for us. So do not underestimate yourself and your abilities. Instead, you know, puff up your own chest full of energy and, and elegant pride. Sing your own song and march into your own beat of your own drum. And also, it reminds you, you know, to respect yourself and also act with di dignity. Showing us that even small, something small as a sparrow can triumph in this great big world in which you can because you are amazing so as we close guys the lips of wisdom are closed except to the ears of understanding the cabalion when the pupil is ready to receive the truth then with this little book come to him or her the cabalion the law of attraction will bring lips and ear together pupil and book and company and when it comes to animal symbolism again guys you know they're here they always going to teach you the more of the story when you look at you know throughout history and they also here to te help teach us a lesson to help us grow through the process along our hero's journey. Okay, because these these people, these nature guys are our helpers. And here I am as, you know, pretty much the mentor here, sharing my ups and downs, my experiences, letting you know, like, hey, use those seven minute principles so you can skip some levels, right? You can get a bird's eye view of how everything works. However, you're going to still go through some experiences. It's all about what transformation atonement and returning each and every day a stronger wiser better person than you were yesterday that's the ultimate goal you know, all right and being able to you know help the planet in some kind of way what is your purpose why are you here okay and that's what it's all about this is your hero's journey there's no cookie cutter recipe okay i wish it was however that's why each individual life path and destiny is unique for each individual person, okay? So take the time to investigate your life. And you will thank me later, especially when you use these seven hermetic principles, okay? But as we get out of here, guys, the animal guys can really show us, you know, they actually show us, you know, that the connection between ourselves and the natural world. And they also show us the deeper understanding and allow us to receive impressions when requesting insight or inner awareness without clouding our intuitive perspectives or our judgment you know overall so as we get out of here sparrow guys symbolism pretty much remember guys it's all about polarity so when they pop up in your life there may be some things you need to work on or it's some things you've been really excelling in and they just remind you to hey keep up the good work you know remain vigilant uh, vigilant right but at the same time frames tap into that creativity all right so it, it, my biggest takeaways when it comes to the sparrow as we get out of here guys uh oh as we get out of here, pardon me, <laughs> as we get out of here, my, my five takeaways are, it, you know, when it comes to the sparrow, it's time to simplify, return to your roots, celebrate community. The sparrow also teaches about self-worth. And if you don't love yourself, it's nearly impossible to love, you know, others fully. Now, the sparrow going to ask you to really look closely at your beautiful quality because you are beautiful inside and out. So love yourself. 
You know, your life have, you know, have tremendous value and take pride in who you are, you know. So it's all about realigning yourself to your purpose and your mission and who you are from the inside. That part of you that nobody can see, but only you can hear. Okay. Number three, along your path, also share your knowledge and wisdom with people to help people to help themselves. And you're going to develop into that mentor role. But at the same time frame, remain balanced because you're going to be sharing a lot of energy. It's all, you know, so it's also a time to, you know, reset yourself too when you're sharing your energy with people and helping along your path, okay? And number four, it's all about focusing on hard work because they love working as a team, right? But being diligent creates a foundation for personal success, all right? So, and think outside the box. And, and this is going to help remove any kind of roadblocks that you may have in your life. At the end of the day, guys, you, you already have all the answers within you. You just really have to take the time, focus, and really bring those ideas, you know, down so you can put them out and produce them into physical form, if that makes sense. But it's all, you know, at the end of the day, it's all about teamwork when it comes to the spare, okay? But when it comes to the nature, guys, be mindful of the different colors and times you experience, you know, their presence. You know, what you have always accepted as instinct or your conscious, you know, your conscious or unusual vivid dreams or basically your spirit guys, your spiritual teams constantly sending you messages each and every day. All right. They really want to help you grow through the process along your hero's journey because it's all about transformation. Because if you haven't grown or things haven't changed in your life in the past year, five years, ten years, it's never too late to rewrite your story. I'm living proof, okay? So, but at the end of the day, don't ignore the messages from your spiritual team. They really want to help you grow through the process along your hero's journey. But as you get these new ideas, these downloads, light codes, right? Write them down. Most importantly, take action on your dreams. Most people don't take action, okay? You're going to make some mistakes, but mistakes make you wise. You're going to gain a lot of experience through all those ups and downs, okay? But you're going to refine and repeat the process. Most importantly, along your journey. Have fun, guys. Have fun. <laughs> all right? So this has been all about the sparrow, common nature guy symbolism. There's no cookie-cutter recipe to life. You know you know what I'm saying? But our purpose and mission require learning a lot of life lessons and to gain experience and knowledge for our soul's growth. You know, if you've been doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results, it's not going to happen. You have to change your input, change your routine for a better output. Okay, share your knowledge and wisdom with people, but always trust your intuition, your thoughts, belief, words, emotion, and action are always going to equal your reality and your results. Keep your money in check at this time. Learn about dividend stock, dollar cost averaging, monthly, weekly, daily. Okay, learn about cryptocurrency. It will take you far. Check the description area for additional information. But be sure to click that like, subscribe button down below. I greatly appreciate, appreciate that as well. And we will be back with our next presentation. We will be talking about the nature guide of the uh, cardinal symbolism. So until then, you know, really take care of yourself. Examine your life. Your life is very important. You know, I love you guys. All right. But until next time, stay grateful and focused, fam. Peace.